Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's coffee time. It's Sunday lunch time. Southern Sunday lunch. Mama's going to make her honey mustard. Then we're going to take that honey mustard, and I've got some real bacon here. I just now chopped up right there, and I'm going to put it on these leftover veggies. We had quite a bit last night. And uh, we're going to make a whole new dish out of these. And you can start from scratch and make this since you don't already have some vegetables from last night. But they're gonna be good, y'all. Over here is a couple of ribeyes, and we're going to get those cooking, as they already are. They was in there, they've been on there about a minute. So we're gonna let them cook about three minutes on each side. So in six minutes, we hope to be eating or somewhere about, right about that. I did season the steaks, put a little bit of Southern Secret, and I put a little bit of Fancy Steakhouse, and they're gonna season right up and be perfect, ready to go. Mama, it's your turn to My make turn. some beautiful honey mustard dressing. I don't have no recipe in my head. Uh, you got it in your head. That's what no, it counts. I'm going to have to get it fixed in my head real quick. Look at that honey mustard bowl she's even got for this. It takes, if you want to dump that, it takes a cup of honey mustard. Mm -hmm. Cup of mayo. Cup of mayo. Mama, I can put a cup of mayo in there like in 30 minutes. Well, put a cup of mayo. All right, so a cup of mayo, and I just got mustard on your rice. On the dish rag, and how much mustard? A fourth of a cup of mustard. Fourth of a cup of mustard, oh, and fourth of a cup of honey. Fourth of a cup of honey, and a tablespoon of oil in it. Well, come on, honey lid. Fourth of a cup of honey. Well, you have to catch it. And how much of the red pepper? Just a dash, dash. A dash, dash. Y'all see me, I did just what she said. You took salt or anything in it? Uh, I need salt right there. Onion salt. How much of it? I just put a teaspoon. Eighth of a teaspoon onion salt. And how much apple cider vinegar? A tablespoon, I think. Or a little bit. I tell you. No, that's a teaspoon. That won't be enough. I know. But that'll give me something to go with. Okay. Oh, we're going to keep an eye on this clock now. Steaks are cooking. I'm forgetting something. What is it? Apple cider vinegar, honey, mayonnaise, mustard. You put onion salt in it? Uh huh. Onion powder you got there. So I put a little salt salt too. Do you, you put anything else? Mama's not too misplaced her recipe. I need a whisk. Spoon ain't gonna cut it today. So this is gonna be our, this ain't gonna be for salad today. This is going to be on top of these beautiful veggies. I'll lay that right there. And I'm mixing with this little whisk. It's just perfect. And it's just going to emulsify everything. Mom, the only way you'll know is if you taste. Well, you'll taste them. I'll use my finger. I'm, I'm, I'm easy, okay. You better taste it because... You have the discerning taste. Let's turn these ribeyes. Now I don't have my hook. I got a hook right here, Mama. Look at this. We're gonna let them brown for about three more minutes. I think it needs some more honey, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Honey, 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 honey. My baby be all right after you mix that. 
little more, honey. This is homegrown, honey. Right here local. I Hopefully it'll help with allergies. Mama just eating this. It's like medicine. Oh, boy. There is an exact recipe, but we don't have it right now. It's in Mama's book, her big white book of goodies. Now, this is complicated. Making these veggies is very complicated. I don't know if you're going to learn it in one setting. We may have to fix these again. I say that because it's the easiest thing in the whole wide world. There really is nothing to it. Mama was right. So, this is just some roasted vegetables, roast chips and vegetables. I've done this before with mainly all potatoes. It's good. This is just a mixture of roasted vegetables. There's a little bit of pepper in here. There's a little bit of sweet potato. There's these potatoes. All that goodness in there. That's just what was left in the refrigerator yesterday when I wanted to roast some vegetables. And it is good. I'm going to show you how complicated this recipe is. Now, before y'all yell at me, I asked Mama, and I'm going to ask her again in front of y'all just to prove my point. Mama, do you want to use that separate? No, I'll just go ahead and fix it. You're here. You're here. Mama, come here and testify. I'll testify. <laughs> Say it, Mama. I said, go ahead and fix it up. Mama, that's right. It's good, folks. So let's just tilt right down here. These just come out of the refrigerator. This is just our little Tupperware storage container, and I'm just going to... Put a little bit over them. Now this dressing, we're going to use it for salads and other things. And it's going to drip down on my bowl. Embarrassing from my friends. And to this, yes you got it, I'm going to put this back in right here. Now folks, that's as simple as it gets making a delicious meal. This is going to go in the microwave. Because the vegetables have to be heated, it's going to go in there about 40 seconds. And, uh, you're going to stick it? I'll get it out, because that'd be hot, Mom. That is all there is to that dish. And it's absolutely delicious. And you think, oh, that hot honey mustard. And that hot honey mustard is delicious. It's, mm. I make the same stuff, and I put it on my uh, salads. Hot honey mustard bacon dressing for my green salads. On that version, you just take and put a microwave bowl. I make it a lot of times in a mixing bowl, you know, a, a Pyrex measuring cup. And uh, put it in there, and it is so good on a, on a cold salad. Now, I'm not using compound butter today. I don't have any fresh herbs, and I'm holding out for them. Now, I could use powdered herbs. Mom, if you want to put a little thyme on this, on top of the butter, it'll be just like having a... I'm going to hold off on that butter a second, because I may turn them one more time. You ain't supposed to turn them so many times, but they're hot, and they're cooked. But I want some of this to cook a little bit more. Y'all want to see? Look at it. That's good, folks. Look at that char on there. I can I can poke them and tell, but I'm gonna let them go just a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little thyme on top of these, and then I'm gonna put my butter, and that's gonna act just like compound butter. Gonna act just like it. I make compound butter just so I have butter for the potato and everything. But we're not using that today. Mom, those already went off. That was a quick. See if they're hot. That's how we're looking for. It's hot. Okay. Uh, well, see, they come out of the refrigerator. If you're dealing with regular veggies, they just come out of the oven. You don't even have to put them in the microwave. Put that butter on there right at the end of your cooking on your steaks. Right there at the end, give it a little bit of butter. A little pat of butter will do ya. 
I love time. Um, it, it just has a clean freshness about it. But just know, you put it in your butter, you want to grind it a little bit in a mortar and pestle because you want that to be completely ground down smooth. Uh, putting it on top of the steaks like this will be fine. Are you going to cheese today? Yeah, I've got some right here if you want to just in my big thermal thermos. I ain't playing around, people. I ain't playing around. I drink a lot of tea, and I can't just be doing them little containers today. I'm wanting some tea. I was paying attention at church. I really was. But the, my, the, the thought did cross my mind once or twice. I wish I had me a big old cup of tea. I am thirsty. You ever get thirsty in church? I do. How many sing and talk and you just you just need a little drink. A water, you know, or tea or something. Just to make everything good. A lot of churches eat and drink in their sanctuary. That's up to you. We don't. Uh, you know, a cup of water or something is the most cheap. <laughs> the most cheap. But we don't ever bring food or drink in our sanctuary part. Well, we've got plenty. We're Baptists, so we got plenty of food and drinks in the basement. Coca-Cola's water, you name it, you can probably get a get it there. Okay, these are perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Now all you want to do is just marinate all that goodness in there. Look at that steam. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Over top of those vegetables. Adding that bacon. Uh oh. Mama, you cut me all the time. Oh, She's always right. trying to cut me when we wash dishes, when we're setting the table. Oh, that's Now I'm going to take them steaks up because we got to let them rest a minute. Got to let them rest. Mama, I'm going to I'm going to just one half of one right now. Half of one right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you eat the half you want. There it is. That's the way you do that business, Mama. Well, I'm going to unplug it if you try. Yep, unplug it. We're going to let them rest. That's going to get all their juices back up into them and not have I it. I know what I'm going to do while you're letting those rest. Is I'm gonna Sing a song? No, I'm going to go get them pies. Oh, sure. my Mama didn't forget them pies. No, I didn't forget them. I didn't either. Mama, wait. What do you want? I want you to stop. Uh, go get your pies. I was going to say No, them. no. Go get your pies. I want to place the saddle. No. She was wanting to move that hot plate with that hot skillet. Mama. Don't be doing that. That skillet will slide everywhere. It's going to cool before we move that. She's just going to move it up for her pie. Mama, you put that pie right here in my face. Here's the strawberry. Look at that. And I'm going to move this Mama, down don't. here. You say, You'll get the legs off the edge over there. No, it's not your off. She your makes me nervous. I wish you'd like some more. Oh. You're getting on my nerves. Oh, so my granny used to tell me. You're too old. No. No. People, that's hot. And that hot plate, look. It's right on the edge. And she's sliding it around like that. Mmm. You gotta watch her. Look at that. They know no triangle out of it, folks. We made it all night with this pie. And the next one, too. We did real good. I was proud of us. Now, we ain't eating both these pies. Don't y'all? I heard you. I, I heard you. Say, eat a pie of I heard you saying, they're gonna eat both them pies. No, we ain't. But here's the blueberry. It's um, no triangle missing. Y'all ought to be giving us applause for that because now that took some willpower. I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to lie. About, about 7.30 last night, the flesh, you know, this said, eat some of that pie. It'll run together. Nobody will ever know it. But I said no. Even I did get into it. No, and you did good, Mama. You did real good. Now, let's have us some of this goodness right here, speaking of good, Okay. Now, you all see this. These are just roasted vegetables. 
last night's roasted vegetables, full of these taters and full of carrots and all kinds of goodness. And that's what we're going to side dish today with our with our steaks. It's got a little bit of asparagus in it. Look here, here's taters. That's good. I don't need them. Here's taters. Just like having a good old baked potato. Now, the only thing we could add that would be a little better if we had a good fluffy green salad. And I was going to do that, but then I want cheese on it. And I, want, I don't think you're just adding stuff. You're just adding unnecessarily. <laughs> Let's bless it. Dear Lord, Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for allowing us to be here together, dear Lord. And we just thank you for all your blessings, your mercy, and your grace, dear Lord. And we just ask you to be with those that are here today and all the prayer requests that have been uh, given out, dear Lord, those unspoken and spoken. They're watch over us, lead and direct us. your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to take off my apron. Let me take the time to put one on. Mom, where'd you get these steaks here? This is from Miss Pam and Joe. Miss Pam and Mr. Joe. They send us little goodies all the time. They are so sweet. We appreciate you. They say they're so pitiful they won't eat what they want. <laughs> we try not to be that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're good. I bet they are. Getting that fat off now. They're tender as your eyeball. Mm -hmm. We should have let them rest only two more minutes. What do you think, Mom? Is yours cooked good? Yeah, it's good. Good as can be, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm a little overdone. Just mean them done. There could be some pink in that one. Yeah, there's a little pink. I didn't know it. Mm -mm. Now, let's do yesterday's veggies with honey mustard, bacon. Hot honey mustard and bacon. Y'all seen us make the whole thing. If you didn't see the vegetables yesterday, I did fix them in a bacon pan that we'd use for breakfast, which gave them a little flavor. But adding the bacon in there chopped up is going to add even more. Just all you have to do is roast you some vegetables. Make you some honey mustard and, crumb, and cut you up some bacon. Heat the honey mustard and bacon with your vegetables. Mm, it's so good. Let's try it. Yeah, good. Mm. What's your verdict, Mama? They were good. I tried them. You want to see if mine's dumber than yours or not? No, you're good. No. And what what would you say? They're better than yesterday's? Well, they're nothing like yesterday's because they've got a totally different flavor to them today. But the hot bacon and honey mustard, it kicks them up a notch, folks. Kick some up a notch. Have a leftover so it don't seem like it cause. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't seem like it cause it's totally different. Mm -hmm. And another thing, we could have baked the potato. We already have potatoes. So we was able to save on leftovers and have a delicious dish. And really and truly, I'd rather have this as a baked potato. Because it's just so, it's just delicious. Yeah, that's really good. I'm surprised you like it as good, but now you did like the hot honey, hot bacon honey mustard mm -hmm. over the salad. Mine's fixed just to perfection. Is yours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. You know, I don't like mine as raw as you do yours. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go for a Sunday ride today, Mama? We might get it out and do something. You didn't go last week. I know it. I was lazy. Someone might have built a fence. Oh, I did. What if somebody got new flyers? And you ain't been around to know. I know. They've probably done that. Mama thinks it's her personal duty to get out and see their flyers. Because what do you say, Mama? I'd like 
not have some like that. I'm a luxury store. No, but what do you say that people put them out for me to come by and look at? Them? Yeah, the show. Why would they take the trouble of putting them out? They didn't want to show them to everybody. You got a good point. You have a good point, Mama. Well, folks, that's all we have today. We hope you've enjoyed our hot bacon, honey mustard glaze for these vegetables. It's a whole new approach to some good vegetables. Now, it's not as healthy as it was yesterday. Mm -mm, but it's good. But it's good. <laughs> Very good. Mama, what else you want to do? Just eat and enjoy it. Eat and enjoy. All right. A little bit of thyme and butter on those steaks made them pop. Oh, they're good. That's why I'm thinking too, Mama. I like to cut the steak and then roll it around in that butter and stuff. And oh, it says you both look nice now. Mama does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mama's purdy. She's got all her purdy on today. Thank you, Paula. Folks, that's all we got. Mama, if you don't have anything else, we'll let them go. Yeah. I'll let you eat your steak and your veggies. And then I'm going to eat some pies. I'm not and then we're going to have some pies. I'm not going to be that good today. I think I'll have a half, sl half slice each. Or a thin slice each. Thin, thin slice of each. Mm -hmm. And I don't see no harm in that. I don't either. Y'all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.